it's all about air quality. If you want, if you want to save as much energy as possible, you want zero leakage yeah. in your house, zero. But of course, you might die. So. <laughs> no, not really. But uh, uh, this is all air quality. The minimums are all about air quality, not about energy. Yeah, otherwise we would just we would just seal houses up. The reason they developed these is that I think they were sealing houses up too tight. They were in the in the in the 70s, 80s, 80s. They were going around with 100 tubes of cock and a bunch of uh, conservation crew kids with long hair, and they were just cocking the entire house. I mean, everything, every crack and crevice. Um, so anyway, they developed this because they were finding that they didn't want to make houses too tight cause problems but also this thing helps you find the leaks that you otherwise wouldn't feel so um, let's go in here yeah lots of times I'll go around first and just find the big stuff so I'll go well let's see let's see what we can find here so this little area here um, Yeah, quite a bit of air here. You can actually see it. More of a streaky look. If you go over there and feel, you can actually feel the air coming out of there. I'd say a lot, most of our leakage is from here and those few pipe holes and stuff we found. And I'm wondering about that crossover duct, if it's come loose or something. You can see it in here, it's a 12 inch. It's maybe, yeah, it might be 10 inch actually. And it just connects one side to, to right. the other. So let's jump back into the weatherization process. Following the site visit, information is entered into an audit software program. The program attempts to draw out the best measures to install with the money available. We have to um, figure out exactly what kind of materials and labor that we're going to need to do the various measures at the house. And we put it into a, uh, we have an Excel spreadsheet that just keeps track of our funds. So we do the estimating in there and then we also when, when we get bills we put the actual prices in and then we but first and then in the meantime we put our estimated prices in uh, the state has a energy audit computerized energy audit which gives us a savings to investment ratio so we don't have to think about that we just stick the stick the money in there and we get a uh, SIR and if it's above one we can do it if it's below one we can't and so we, when you first start out putting information in the energy audit you have to put in that with the household data and that is what the calculations are based on for the SIR so for instance the, f the fuel usage or what type of fuel they use and the percentage of fuels used and that will all affect the uh, uh, savings to investment ratio because uh, they based that on the price of the fuel I already did estimate some things out just because that's fairly fairly boring it's just a matter of knowing contractor prices in your area, knowing uh, specific contractor prices, um, and experience and seeing what people bill for things. For windows, windows is a big one. We estimate, uh, we, you know, we check with, we actually do check with glass shops and see what it's gonna cost. Um, and then like I say, experience of knowing what it will take for someone to do that. Now, one thing interesting to this house is I had quite a few how about eight infiltration measures and really a not that high of a figure, 1,630 CFM. And so when I did my calculation or estimated the costs, it came down to a pretty low SIR. So we're right a little bit above the one 
SIR. Um, so we're, you know, that's good. That, so we're, you know, we're putting as much money as we can into tightening that house. And I don't think just from past experience that we're going to over tighten the house. For this mobile, we found that really the, uh, the big thing to do there for energy savings was going to be the floor, uh, attic insulation. So on my attic page, we have, I just have um, a simple blow attic, 768 square feet. So anyway, I got my estimations done for the attic, the windows, the infiltration. And then there was a um, little bit of furnace work to do, furnace category work, like uh, we're going to vacuum the duct. We're going to install some vents in the furnace door. Uh, that all needs to be estimated, but it doesn't count against the SIR because it's a heating category. Uh, anything related to the furnace. Uh, we're going to seal the registers, the ends of the registers. We're going to put some earthquake straps on the water heater, wrap the water heater, wrap the pipe. Now wrapping the water heater is, is um, stop stand, uh, improve standby losses for your water heater. And when the water heater is just sitting there, it'll retain that heat longer. Um, and same thing with the pipe wrap. You put insulation on the pipe, somebody uses the hot water, and then somebody doesn't use it for 20 minutes, that water is going to remain hotter in that line until somebody else uses it. So those are just little things that we do. The work is done by the crews. It's where the rubber meets the road in the weatherization process. So I'd like to try to slip it behind that. Uh -huh. yeah. I don't know, I think it went right in. What's that? I think it went right in. Yeah, I think it slipped in behind that. It sounded pretty good. You're not going to be able to change it. Yeah, no, I think I kind of like it right there.